Game of Thrones fans, it's me, Anna. I'm Mark. And today we are watching Season 6, Episode 6, Blood of My Blood of Game of Thrones. Alright, little bonus video. Yeah. We didn't think we were going to get together again for a few more days and we were going to do 6 and 7. Yeah, but, um, we, but we ended up, you know... I mean, worked out. <laughs> yeah, I had drama today and I didn't feel like going way over to a different town to my mom's house and then having to wake up early, get everything done, and then come back here. So I just spent the night here again. And we get to do a bonus video. Mm -hmm. So what I do want to say is I have not even completed episode five yet as far as the editing goes. Like I said, we're early on this. In the discussion section on the episode five, I'm going to have a comment pinned so for Q and A's for episode seven and eight because our next viewing will be doing both those episodes. So mm -hmm. just real quick on that. So if you want any questions for Anna on those two, uh, because we're way early on this, I don't have anything. Um, so we're just going to go into the recap. Yep. Opens up with Sansa going to Molestown. Yeah, and then she meets a little finger at Molestown. What are they talking about? Oh, yeah, they're talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sansa started off with, did you know about Ramsey? Um, and that completely kind of caught Littlefinger little finger off mm. guard. But then Littlefinger brings up the Blackfish's retaken River Run. Mm -hmm. So he might be able to get forces that route. Yeah. Because, yeah, Sansa basically said no to the Vale. Okay, well then we get to the Arya scenes, where Arya she's fighting scene. the Waif. She's fighting the Waif. And the Waif. The quarterstaffs. Yeah. yeah, but the Waif threw her quarterstaff down. Right. And then ended up really beating <laughs> Arya up. <laughs> she pulled a Drogo. <laughs> um, and after that scene goes Arya and Jockin. Jockin's giving her a job. Yep. Um, Arya goes to the play. Sees all that. Any thoughts on that? Um, it is very, very, very inaccurate. <laughs> I mean, like, they didn't even get the story right. Oh, uh, yep. But, like, um. Other than the that. fact that Ned died and Tyrion married Sansa, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Everything else was kind of twisted around. Mm -hmm. um, like Cersei said back in episode three. The truth is what you make it. Yep. So they twisted the stories to make everything. That's what the people are getting. So, all right, while well, we go to Bran now, mm -hmm. and he goes to the past, seeing yep. with the children. Yeah, we finally figured out the real story behind the creation of the White Walker. Yep. Children's fault. Right. But at the same time, they were all dying out. True. Because the first men were killing them all. Mm hmm Cutting down all the wayward trees. And they needed something to fight with. Yeah. But it's biting them in the butt now. Yeah, it does. <laughs> now there's, like, even less of them. Right. Because they created it. A pretty much unstoppable force that yep. can only be killed by a fire, b dragon glass, and Valyrian steel. Oh yeah. So it backfired. Yeah. Okay, that now we get to the fine. speech scenes. We get Yara's speech, Theon's speech, and Euron's speech. Yep. And everybody sided with Euron. Well, not everybody, but... Yep, and then during his, uh, the coronation... Yep. Um, pretty sure he was about to die there. Yep. Uh, were you hoping he'd die? <laughs> I really wouldn't care, but I mean, I was kind of hoping he would. Because, I mean, <laughs> he stole the throne from Yara. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should be Yara's. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, then we have um, Jorah. Jorah. Uh, professing his love for Danny and then showing her the grayscale. Yep. 
and then Dan is very sad and commands him to find a cure and once he is cured come back yep all right so then we get to Bran being restless in the tree and decides to go green seeing on his own mm -hmm. Walks through the uh, army of the dead. And or, then gets seen and touched, which leads to the last scene. Right. Um, yeah, to the last scene. Had a couple scenes before that last scene. Uh, we had John, Sansa, and Davos talking about the northern houses. Mm-hmm. Um, trying to get their backing to go down to Winterfell. Because yeah. the wildlings are, you know, a couple thousand strong. Yeah. Um, then we have seen with Sansa telling Brienne to go to River Run. To or, get the River Run army. Yep. Um, army. Uh, do you, how do you think Brienne will do on that trip? Um. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just like. I mean, we haven't seen the blackfish since you know the red wedding, so it's been a while. Yeah. But okay, so out of there, that's when we come to the last, the last scene. scene. Let's do that. You want to give any thoughts on that? <laughs> Summer and Hodor are dead. Why do they keep on killing off all the wolves? We only have two left, and one of them was lost in episode one. <laughs> episode two. Episode two. <laughs> uh, I know. We hate adding names to that list. <laughs> uh, I know, I'm sorry. But, so we had that ending, which was sad, tragic. Makes it think a ton. This is the paradox. Which came first, chicken or the egg? <laughs> so, well, that was pretty much that episode. You ready for the next one? Hmm. Wait, wait. I want to. Okay. Uh, I want to show you. Oh yeah. Thing. Yep. Yeah. So, I made this in woodshop. There's supposed to be ping pong balls here. And then I I still need the rubber bands and I need to glue a clothespin here. But it's supposed to be a slingshot and there's going to be a rubber band here and you're supposed to put it in the imaginary uh, the imaginary okay. clothespin here. And then you put in a ping pong ball and then you open up the clothespin, shoots the rubber band shooting the ping pong ball. It's a slingshot. I can just see Joffrey using that. Ping pong. <laughs> I'm going to use Encora. Oh. Um, <laughs> mine's much safer. It doesn't yeah. kill. Yep. <laughs> or seriously injure. It just kind of throws very harmless uh, ping pong balls at people. I want to see the range. The range? Yeah, like go out into a field and uh. see how far the ping pong ball goes. <sighs> Notice how I just did that? Hmm? You didn't get to read the one part. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> you always sneak that in and I just play, play. Mm. Okay. Here's another paradox. It's a really cool riddle, but... So, I'll give you the answer at the end. But, <laughs> um... <you> remember. <laughs> um... You were captured by these weird people that want to kill you, um, and, but you get to choose which way you die. If you you have to say a statement, if that statement is true, you get your head chopped off. Um, if you lie, you get hanged. Um, how do you survive? It's a riddle for all of you people. <laughs> I'll tell you at the end if I remember. I'll try to you know, write it out. Yeah. Riddle. 
It's really cool. It's a really cool riddle. Why is he still in the wooden fist? Having a weird screen seer <laughs> seizure. <laughs> I remember all of those scenes. Because it had the red wedding and they died the whole. What is that? Where's my sister? It's not an easy thing admitting to yourself what you really are. It's taken me a while. He's helped me. I've had lots of time to think about how good I was at seeming good. All those stories I told myself about who I was and why I did the things I did. I love my brother. I will always love my brother. His soul is pure and perfect. His sins don't erase that purity, they only obscure it. He just needs to atone for them. The gods have a plan for us all. I guess we can see Sam's fire. Ha, <laughs> 
eyes on our way down to Castle Black. He drove a dagger into the walker's heart. He risked his own life to save mine more than once. He's a greater warrior than either of you will ever be. Your way down to Castle Black. Uh-oh. The Night's Watch came to our keep. Where? Okay. North of the wall. North of the wall. Uh-oh. You're a wildling. The Seven Kingdoms have waged war against these savages for centuries, and here I sit, hosting one in my hall. It's called Heart's Bane. Been in our family for 500 years. It's Valerian steel. Only a handful of them left in the world. It's supposed to go to my firstborn son after I die. I overestimated him. No, you underestimated him. It was a wildling whore that seduced my son. Is you getting back at me, boy? Hmm? Bringing that to my table and making me die with it? I've lost my appetite. He dishonors us. You dishonor yourself. Please, sir, I'll take the wildling in here and work in the kitchens. The bastard will be raised here. And this will be the last night you ever spend at Horn Hill. Say goodbye to him for me. You're not what he thinks you are, Sam. He doesn't know what you are.
My father's waiting for me. Lady Crane, they loved you. They were sweet. Or drunk. Drunkenly sweet. No laugh and then to death. These people are worse than animals. Who's anyone to judge my work? This is my profession. I know what I'm doing. You have no right to an opinion. Promise me. 